Hello and uh, welcome from the BSC Expo in London uh, 2018. I'm Richard Lewis uh, from the Sony Digital Motion Picture Centre in Pinewood Studios. So I'm here with our new Venice camera which is going to be uh, shipping this month. It's a full frame sensor camera. Uh, that's 3x2 which gives us a 36 by 24 millimeter sensor at a resolution of 6K by 4K. Uh, we also have built-in 8 ND filters, so we have from clear up to uh, ND 2.4 which is a really, really uh, quick and uh, helpful feature for all cinematographers, I think. Uh, we have mounted on here a PL mount lens. Uh, adapter so we can put on any uh, PL mount, full frame, uh, anamorphic, so we fully support Super 35, 3 perf, and 4 perf in 4K uh, as well as the full frame. The sensor itself is interchangeable, you can actually remove the sensor by undoing six bolts, it takes about one minute to undo the sensor, uh, and then a little bit of extra time, undo two more screws inside, and we can remove the fan for very easy uh, cleaning of the inside. And of course the air flowing through the body doesn't touch any of the electrical connections inside the camera at all, so it's completely isolated, if you like, from the environment. Uh, we have here also the uh, RAW recorder, so we're recording our XOCN format, which is sort of the next generation of RAW, is perhaps the way to think about it. It's 30% uh, more efficient in file size, and we also have an LT version, which is 60% more efficient in file size, still recording the full 16-bit uh, linear signal. Uh, other features we have, the new uh, viewfinder, OLED viewfinder, full HD resolution, more than twice as bright compared to the uh, previous model. Uh, we have SYS slot recording here for 4K or uh, simultaneous proxy recording, and in the future we'll be able to add uh, ProRes proxy recording uh, in addition to MPEG-2 and XAVC. We have a completely new layout of menu. You can see here on the uh, uh, camera operator side, we have the little uh, OLED display panel here. And round on the other side of the camera, here we have the assistant side, where we have a very quick and easy to use menu system. So I can quickly adjust any of the main parameters of the camera. So for example, to change the ND, I just select it and hit set. And now I've changed it to 1.2 or I can use the rotary encoder, change that back to 0.3. So as you can see, it's really, really super simple and quick. I can dial in any white balance color temperature from 2000 to 15,000. And remember that it's very unique in this camera that we actually change the raw data uh, when we change the color temperature. So all of the 6K by 4K processing, real-time processing in the camera, means that this camera is independent uh, of um, uh, any white balance native color temperature. Underneath the PL mount adapter, if I remove that, when we come to version 2 firmware, which will be in the summer sometime, then underneath here is a locking E-mount adapter. So you'll be able to basically put pretty much, I think, any lens with an adapter that you choose uh, onto this camera uh, coming up uh, in the future. Version 2 will also add many extra features. We're turning on all of the independent 3D lookup tables for all of the outputs. Uh, and we've had just launched a, a new feature, in fact, yesterday at the show, where we're going to have a dual ISO recording, so simultaneous 500, which is how it is today, and a base of 2500 ISO uh, with uh, that mode. We're also going to add a control uh, for the RJ45, so you'll be able to log in with your laptop, so you'll be able to make basic adjustments, uh, change, for example, the ND filters and the uh, assignable buttons. Also for version 2, as a new upgrade that we haven't announced before, we're going to add false colour. So we've moved that uh, from version 3, which was coming sometime in the future, we're going to add that to version 2. So there's a very, very exciting uh, uh, range of upgrades to come uh, sometime in the summer with this camera.